Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at how to use the databook for National 4 Chemistry. This video is for the updated databook from 2021. Some of the pages that will be referenced in previous videos may refer to the old databook. On page 3 you will find the contents page for the databook. You can use this if you know what you're trying to find within the databook to find the correct page. Although it says relationships for National 5 Chemistry, you may have to use this relationship here, percentage by mass. So this is one relationship that is relevant for National 4 Chemistry. On page 4 of the databook, you have the full periodic table. On this page, each of the boxes shows you the atomic number, the name of the element and the symbol. They go in order from left to right across the periodic table in increasing atomic number. You also have the column numbers at the top, which you can relate to the valency. We have valency 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This page is quite useful for when you're writing formulae. You also have a dark line which separates the metals which are on the left from the non-metals on the right. On page 5 you have the page which shows you the melting and boiling points of selected elements. So this isn't a full periodic table. Each box has the atomic number, the name of the element, it then in bold has the melting point, the point at which the substance moves from solid to liquid, and then in italics you have the boiling point, the point at which the substance goes from liquid to gas. You can see that a few of the values have different symbols beside them. So beryllium has a star beside it for its boiling point. This means that it only boils at this temperature at 28 atmospheres, so that's an increased pressure. Carbon has this symbol here, and it says underneath that it sublimes. This means that carbon moves from a solid to a gas without ever being a liquid. You can use this page to work out what state of matter an element would be in at a certain temperature. If we start off as a solid, we can then increase the temperature until we get to the melting point. At that point, you will then have a liquid. If you continue to heat this up, you will eventually hit the boiling point, and at that point, you will have a gas. If you are given a temperature, you need to compare is the temperature below the melting point, and therefore a solid? Is it between the melting point and the boiling point, and therefore a liquid? Or is it above the, bo the boiling point and therefore a gas? On page 6, you have the electron arrangement of the main group elements. The main group elements are those within the groups and not the, the transition metals. This part of the periodic table shows you the atomic number, the name of the element and the symbol as we had on page 4, but it also gives you the electron arrangement underneath. For example, 2, 1 for lithium where you have two electrons in the inner shell and then one electron in the outer shell. This page is useful for when you're looking at bonding as it allows you to draw out electron diagrams. It will also allow you to draw dot and cross diagrams and again you can use the group numbers to help you with valency. At the bottom of the page we have the flame colours. You can use this when you're looking at chemical analysis. Each of these metals gives a different coloured flame and from that colour you can work backwards to work out what element you have present. Page 7 has an alphabetical list of all of the elements. Beside them we have the symbol and then the relative atomic mass. This is a very useful page to look at when you're calculating gram formula mass. If you do happen to look at group ion formulae then page 8 is the page to look at. This has your group ions, which in general end in 8, so if you need to find an 8, you look on page 8. You're given the name of the group ion and the formulae, including the charge. At the top of each column, it tells you the charge of all of the ions in that column. On this page, you also have the solubility of selected compounds. To work out the solubility of a compound, you pick where the start of the name is, so the metal, and go along until you find the non-metal and read what the symbol is. So here we've got lead to carbonate and it has an I which means it's insoluble. Page 9 has some melting and boiling points of different compounds and it's also useful for when you're looking at hydrocarbons. So here in this box we have the alkanes and they're written in order. 
So if you find it difficult to remember how many carbons are within each of the alkanes, you can have a look here where you've got methane with one, ethane with two, and so on. You also have the cycloalkanes and the alkenes. And finally, page 10, you have the electrochemical series. This is very closely linked to the metal reactivity series. You just need to swap around the top four here so that you will have potassium first, then sodium, lithium and calcium. The rest, however, are in roughly the same order as the metal reactivity series. Pause the video now and use your data book, either a hard copy that you have or one that you can find on the SQA website, to find the page and the value for each of these. The melting point of silver you'll find on page 5, which is the periodic table with the melting and boiling points, and the value for this is 962. The element with atomic number you will find on the full periodic table on page 4, and that is fermium. Electron arrangements are found on the selected periodic table on page 6, and the electron arrangement for magnesium is 282. Flame colours are also on page 6, and strontium burns with a red flame. Atomic number of bismuth can be found on either the full periodic table on page 4, or the periodic table on page 6, and it has atomic number 83. The solubility of magnesium iodide can be found on page 8. You read along the magnesium and then down the iodide until they meet, and you will find that it is very soluble. The relative atomic mass of chlorine is in the table on page 7, which is in alphabetical order, and it is 35.5. And finally, the boiling point of propane is on page 9 in the table of alkanes, and it has a boiling point of minus 42. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.